That's right, folks. We are back at Wren Lake, located in Illinois, and I'll tell you what, we've got something very special today. We will be fishing all day buck brush. And folks, this is an exciting time because I'll tell you, it's a unique experience. Can't wait to share it. Please subscribe. Here we go. All right, folks, I've got something exciting for you. Today, we are at the buck brush at Wren Lake. That's right, pulling slabs out with my cousin Steve again. And let me tell you, it's a calm, beautiful, gonna be 75 degrees. It really doesn't get much better than this. Well, Ren Lake is 18,900 acres. It has a 25 fish limit. 10 can exceed 10 inches. That's it, folks. We are gonna be fishing the buck brush. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I have my cousin Steve with me. And let me tell you, this is a unique experience for any crappie angler. I would totally encourage you to make your way to Ren Lake. It's a great time. Let's get some slabs in the boat. This is part of the problem at the buck brush. You're a, milli you're a millimeter away from being hung up. Um, that could be yours, not, doesn't work. That's an under. That's a good fish to get apparently right now. If you yeah. can get an under. This so they're struggling to get unders. Not me, I can I can get the unders. <laughs> So we're out here today at Wren Lake, an incredible fishery. I fished it a lot, done a lot of videos here. We have a lot of tournaments. If you don't know about Wren Lake, it's a great lake. A lot of variety, kind of got an interesting limit for crappie, um, 10 over 10 inches and 15 under. So that is definitely a unique situation for at least our area, but we're fishing the buck brush. And so I'll show you a bunch of photos of the buck brush as we wander around it we're kind of fishing around it uh, we're fishing in it and basically every fish we've caught so far has been definitely in it so uh, these fish fish move up every year and it's a, one of the great experiences in southern Illinois in regards to crappie fishing and that is fishing the buck brush at Wren Lake it's not for everybody and I'll be honest with you it's not for me <laughs> I don't ever claim to be a uh, an expert at it um, you have to have super patience and you are always a millimeter from being hung up. So bring a lot of jigs, don't need minnows, although a lot of people do use minnows. And um, enjoy it because it's unique. And uh, I try to do it, you know, twice a year. That's pretty much it. Good time. Thanks for joining, please subscribe. We're gonna have a great day on the water. There's a small. That guy's small. That guy is small. I give Steve the bait. Hold on, show, show the nice folks at home. That's what a fish looks like. That's a that's a one with eggs too. Yeah. That one was real shallow, Matt. He's catching fish and I'm getting hung up. Frustrating for me, I tell you. But a lot of fun still when you get the thump. She's working with a joker from what is that, Mr. Crappie or Joker at Garland? I can't even remember. First over, I had to go down and get it. Got tangled up in the buck brush. All right, so this is totally unique. Buck brush, crappie fishing. Let me feel, it's not, it's not for me, folks. This is not something I would do if I had a tournament on Wren Lake. I'd be the guy that's spider rigging outside the buck brush. But let me tell you how aggressive you have to be. You have to get in the buck brush and you're gonna be fishing all over this place. I'm telling you, you're dropping into places you would never imagine that you'd be dropping into. And you're gonna get hung up. On this particular day, I probably lost 50 jigs, no joke. Um, 
back and forth, tying, retying, and um, it's interesting because I do come back later in the day and I get the hang of it. I get a little bit smoother with the whole process, but this is not for everybody. Um, but at the same time, a very unique experience. And I saw a lot of guys pulling out some really, really big fish. So it's a lot of fun. It's picturesque. It's unique. Get the Rin Lake and check out and, and try this experience. It's a lot of fun, especially when they're biting in there, when it's a really aggressive bite, no doubt about it. All right, so today we got, give me about 75 degrees, started off at 50. I really don't know what the water temperature is, but I could tell you, cause just I didn't have it turned on the electronics. We're in the John boat, Reno's boat. Um, perfect for buck brush. You don't want to bring in a, you certainly don't want to bring a raft boat into the buck brush uh, or any boat that you worry about it being scratched up because you have to get in it to win it for sure. Um, but a lot of baits, a lot of, a lot of plastics. It is a lot of fun, but they do a lot of tournaments at Rin Lake crappie fishing, and some guys choose to do this for eight hours, and they eat, they eat me. It's a different style, for sure. <laughs> you have to have a definitely a different tolerance for being right next to being hung up. Sorry, Reno, about your boat. <laughs> it looks like it's been around, though. I think it's going to survive it. You don't. You don't necessarily have to. That was a bite. You don't necessarily have to ease into the spots necessarily. You'd like to, but these these fish are holding their ground and spawning, and they aren't going anywhere. But like Steve said earlier, he said, you know, they're not chasing it either, so you have to put it on their head. And so you're just constantly dipping back and forth, even in the same bush. I mean, you're going all over a bush. I'm always amazed that you'll still find a fish in that bush after you been all over it. Holy mackerel. What do you think that was? I don't know. Wasn't a small animal. See, right back in it. <laughs> Woo, baby. That's a pretty good example. That was. That was exactly where that swirl happened. Wow, he hit it hard too. I think that's an over. Yeah, five overs. Fish on. Only like he's two probably feet an down. over. I think he's an over. Ooh, there's no big photos, I don't know. That's kind of exciting, I'll check. I think it's an under. I, I mean, it's not looking at it. Under. <laughs> there he is. Best fish of the day right there so far. Look at that color. Yeah, it's a good fish. been a while we are learning this is gonna go as an under so I get the market down five and five. yeah baby <laughs> hoping the tournament schedule opens up again Kentucky Lake is in June for the ACT and uh, it was a real disappointment when Grenada got postponed. Hopefully it's happening in September, so it will be happening. But uh, Kentucky Lake, here we come, baby. We're looking forward to it. We hope it actually occurs. So after that, we're down in Louisiana, I believe. A lake that I will not be familiar with, but it'll be fun to learn it.
trips this summer. We're going to be on piles. It's going to be a great time. Three pound fishing at gmail.com. Get a hold of me. Another small. People said they've been struggling to catch smalls, and we've been out doing. We've been doing well on smalls. We'll take it though. Maybe the bite will. Maybe the bite will heat up. Maybe the bite will heat up, and as the sun comes up. Steve don't care. Steve's gonna take these fish home and clean them. And be honest with you, those small ones will be the first fillets that everybody eats. Amen to that. Without a nothing wrong with 15 inch crappie, but 15 yeah. inch crappie tastes better. I think that if I were I'm not a professional at the buck brush. Don't claim to be, like I said, twice a year probably. But without a doubt, a and I forgot today, a 12 footer would be excellent. 10 footer seemed even a little bit short. So even other people were seeing in the buck brush, it appears they have much longer rods. I've always gone deeper than this. Yeah, oh. oh, I got my finger tangled in that. that oh my God, that was a big one. So this was unfortunate because this was definitely my big fish of the day right here. It's about a pound and a half fish. Um, and then I got my finger tangled in the line. I don't know what else to tell you, but that's the experiences you're gonna have at the buck brush. It does happen, um, but still a great time. All right, well, we're done. I appreciate you guys watching. We ended up with some pretty good fish, uh, but we have a lot to learn. Uh, we're gonna come out here later this week, share the experience with you. Uh, we caught about 20 fish total in the buck brush today. Uh, I think basically we need to get the right baits and uh, yeah, we just need to know more and better spots. So a lot more goes into it than just dipping it into the buck brush. That's no doubt about that. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies. Hey folks, this is Matt and thanks again for watching. Hey, get in the boat, it's no joke. We're talking fish are on the piles. It's time to go to three pound fishing guide service. Call me at 618-694-5162. Get in the boat, we will put a lot of slabs in it. Thanks again.